The direct shear test is composed of two separate tests, a consolidation phase and a shear phase. The consolidation phase being the first half of the test, which is followed by the shear phase, which is the second half. In this example, we will build a new test starting from the consolidation phase. So let's begin by opening the direct shear module in Next and creating a new test. To do this, open the HMTS Next folder from the Programs menu and select the Direct Shear module. When the pop-up window appears, choose Create New Direct Shear Test and then type in a name for this new test. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use Humboldt Test for the file name. Once created, there are three things that we have to pay attention to before we can start the test. Just specimen information, load sequence, and test setup. We'll start with specimen information, and we'll go ahead and enter in the specimen dimensions for this test. Now be advised that you have to do this for each specimen that you wish to test um, within this test file. Once the dimensions are entered, go ahead and hit Save. And then we'll move on to Loading Sequence. Since we already have a loading sequence created, we'll go ahead and choose Choose Sequence and choose the appropriate file. Once done, select Done and then select Yes when the pop-up window appears and then move on to Test Setup. From the Test Setup tab, select the consolidation phase for the appropriate specimen. When the pop-up window appears, scroll down until you find the machine you wish to use and then input the sensor inputs. From there, move through each of the tabs including logging, trigger, stop, and seating load in order to ensure that the test parameters that you wish to use are set. Once you're satisfied with the appropriate parameters, go ahead and select OK. And now you're set up for the consolidation phase for the direct shear test. For the shear phase, select the test setup icon. Then select Shear Phase for the appropriate specimen, and when the pop-up window appears, scroll down until you find the machine you wish to use, and then select the sensor inputs. Once chosen, go ahead and select Logging and then choose your logging conditions and parameters. Then choose Trigger and Stop. followed by the number of passes you wish to use, and then finally the motor tab. Be sure if you're using an automated system to use the control, computer controlled tab and choose your motor speeds. Once you filled out the information for each of these tabs, then you're ready to run the test.